All right, good afternoon traders. Today is September 20th. This is our open house. My name is John Kerrigan. We mo I moderate the BYOB trading room. Let's take a look at some charts for today. Today, nothing but a choppy day, okay? Let me explain it to you, okay? You're up over VWAP, now you're under VWAP, okay? You're over the pivot, so you can't really short it, all right? The pivot was 566, 60. So there's 566, 60 right there, okay? So you can't really short it, okay? Now you're up over VWAP, now you're under VWAP, now you're over VWAP. You see the, you see the pattern here? Nothing, nothing really happening, okay? The uptrend petered out, the downtrend petered out. The uptrend petered out. You see what I'm saying? Nothing really happened. Okay, was not. There's nothing but a trade for uh, call spreads down here. Well, put spreads down here and call spreads up there. So bear call spreads up above, put spreads down below. All right, that's all it was good for. Nothing else. Just a whole lot of consolidation under this consolidation here. Not a very good sign. But we're still bullish. Okay, we are over this consolidation, but under this consolidation. We're still bullish. If you look at the midpoint, there's the breakout <coughs> where price is over the midpoint. So the 50 yard line is still holding. Okay, so SPY still bullish. All right, even if it came all the way back to here, okay, it'd still be neutral. But because it's up here, it's still bullish because it's at the midpoint. Let's take a look at the 10-minute chart. 10-minute chart going into close was bullish. All right? So 10-minute chart, bullish. Two-hour chart. Okay? Two-hour chart was bullish. All right? We've got a, just a tiny bit of space between the 3 EMA and the 8 EMA there. On the daily chart, we're still bullish. Okay? Price made a lower high and a lower low, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA above uh, the recent high anchored VWAP, above a past all-time high anchored VWAP. Okay, money still flowing into the market. As long as we have a two-hour uptrend, okay? Two-hour was close to closing out today, but I noticed they didn't close it out, okay? They kept it open. All right, so there's SPY on the two hour. So SPY is still bullish here, okay? And still they close this out and start making lower lows on the two hour chart. All right, so there's SPY, we're still bullish. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ on the daily chart, okay? What do we get here? We got, let me just say, we got a higher low and a higher high. So QQQ. is bullish uh, today's price action lower high lower low closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA okay QQQ still bullish don't like the island reversal up here but we are still bullish because we're up above the bullish trap right there on the daily all right so QQQ still in an uptrend SPY still in an uptrend let's take a look at Diamond Dow, Diamond Dow made new all-time highs yesterday. Again, seems to be a pattern today. Lower high, lower low, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. Diamond Dow still in an uptrend. SPY still in an uptrend. QQQ still in an uptrend. FNGU, price action. Lower high, lower low, closing over the bullish trap, over the 17 EMA. Sounds like deja vu, doesn't it? Okay. Everything seems to be the same. Closing over the trap, over the rising 17. Still in an uptrend. Bulls produced a higher low, waiting for the higher high. Not quite got it yet. No cigar yet on FNGU. IWM, right? Yesterday made a new all-time, well, not a new all-time high, made a uh, a higher low and a higher high. No, it was an inside day yesterday. 
Today, looking like, I got to tell you, looks like another inside day. The low, 221.50. The low, 221.49. 29. Lower high, lower low. Closing over the bullish trap, over the 17 EMA. IWM still in an uptrend, making higher lows and higher highs. Let's take a look at our technicals, T2122. We spent the day in the buy zone. Uh, all in all, uh, for the most part, spent the day in the buy zone. Um, we could... We did spend a little bit of time in the buyer's chop zone, uh, but we got tossed out by the bulls. All right, so price action today, mostly hanging out inside the buy zone. Uh, got a head and shoulders pattern in there, not liking that at all. T2123, uh, guess what? Made new all-time highs again today. Okay, yesterday was an inside day. Today, new all-time highs for T2123. Candles? Green from beginning almost to end. Last candle was a red candle right there. Okay, let's take a look at the three bar chart on the same product. T2123, three bar chart. It's going to have three more green candles if it ever shows up here. Try the FNGU. All right, FNGU. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me and see me? All right, I'm back. All right, you can hear and see me. All right, I just lost connection there. Back to T2123, three bar. Okay, three more green candle bars up over the pivot, up over the two prior all-time highs. Notice we got a rising 200 SMA. Everything's working out nicely. Price is rising up. We're looking for a target up here of around 638. Back on the 15 minute. Okay, you can see price action. Got a rising 200 SMA, rising up over those two prior all-time high anchored VWAPs right there. Nice work on T2123. Money is kind of flooding into this market right there. Okay, lots of money. To get this to move up this fast and not close these gaps down here and just, just rip. Not, they're not even taking time to consolidate. They're just flying high. Okay, so T2123 three bar. Rip into the upside. Again, three more green candle bars on the three bar chart. A lot more space opening up between the 200 SMA and the fifth and the three bar chart of the price action on the three bar chart. Same with the 15 minute. A uh, lot more space opening up between price action and the rising, fifth, rising 200 on the 15 minute chart. So price action, 200 SMA, that's a red line, that's a 200. Let's take a look at FNGU, price action for today on FNGU. Okay, so it looks like we had some selling this morning. A little bit of buying, got up over VWAP, passed under VWAP. Kind of the same thing SPY did. We were on top, we went under, we went over, we went under, made a higher low. With the higher low, we made a higher high like that. And then from there, we left off with a higher low. So we'll see what happens. Price still up, over. This rising 200 SMA, okay, price still moved up and it's consolidating up here for the most part, uh, except for this little little bop down, got a little valley right there, but like the higher lows and the higher highs. So FNGU still bullish there. All right, so let's take a look at precious metals, silver and gold.
First one, silver. Silver in an uptrend, making higher lows and higher highs. Price action, higher low, higher high, closing over the trap, over the 17 EMA. Gold. Gold put in a new all-time high today. Okay. Price action up over the trap, over the 17 EMA. USO. USO still fighting off that downtrend. Okay. USO still in a downtrend till they make a higher high up here. Price action looking like an inside day, lower high, higher low, closing over the bull trap, over the 17 EMA. USO in a downtrend, but trying to fight that off. UNG price action is in an uptrend, making higher lows and higher highs right there. Price action, higher low, higher high, closing over bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Everything looking bullish today. Let's take a look at SMH. SMH got a lower high and a lower low, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. SMH still in an uptrend. XLK, XLK making lower highs, lower lows, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Still in an uptrend, making a higher low, looking for the bulls, produce that higher high. Same thing with SMH. Made a higher low, looking for the bulls to produce that next higher high. Okay, let's take a look at XLI. Industrials made a new all-time high yesterday. Price action today, lower high, lower low, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Like I said, seems to be a pattern today. I think they tried to pin the numbers because it was quadruple riching. XLF, price action. Um, again, lower high, lower low, closing over a bull trap over the 17 EMA. Takes a lot of talent to pin every one of these uh, inside with lower highs. All right, kind of an inside day on XLF. And still keep it over the trap over the 17 EMA. So notice they're still relatively bullish or over, really bullish, uh, but didn't make any higher highs today because of the quadruple witching. So I guess they kept that down on purpose. Okay, XRT, trans, uh, retail sector, lower high, lower low, closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Okay, XRT, not in an uptrend yet. Okay, if it breaks that high, it's only pennies away. They'll be in an uptrend. Okay, XRT, waiting for that, got the higher low, waiting for the bulls to produce that higher high. IYT. Transports. Transports take a big hit today. I guess lower high, lower low. Closing underneath uh, bearish cross over the 17 EMA. Let me see the 15 minute. Yeah. Okay, so lower high, lower low. Closing uh, underneath. Underneath the bull trap and underneath the 17 EMA. Not a good sign there. Okay, so transports. Uh, still in an uptrend, unless they make a lower low. They come down below this low here, and they're in a downtrend. All right, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me today. Okay, if you're new, we got trials. Okay, you can pick up a trial, 30-day trial, $49. I'll be surprised if you don't make your money. All right, today was an awesome day for me. All right, so uh, along with yesterday. All right. Even though you see losses here, that's a bear call, the short side of a bear call spread. All right. That's getting worked out. That's all. So it looks bad, but it's not. It's actually good because I made gains, 6,000 in gains right there. All right. So any questions before I take off? You guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Stan, Brad, everybody. Ed Carter, appreciate it. All right. I want you all to have a wonderful day. I'm sorry today did not wind up being a decent day. It was just chop all day long. All right. It was up over VWAP, under VWAP, over VWAP. Nothing, nothing. Nothing really uh, got going. All right. 
I did tell you one thing got going was Intel. All right, Intel got a nice bill rip rally at the end of the day here. Look at this 10 minute chart. Nice rip over consolidate. Well, right up over this high, making a, a higher low and a higher high. Okay, I do like Amazon. Okay, Amazon. Right here, Amazon. Uh, well, Amazon, look at this late day rally in Amazon. All right, so Amazon up over resistance, busting through resistance at the end of the day. Right there. So late minute rally. That must have happened at the last minute. Okay, Amazon made a higher low and an equal high right up there on resistance. Came back, made a higher low, picked a little bit more up here, and then produced a higher high. Rivian, I got to tell you, Rivian, that looks like the exhaustion candle for Rivian. Huge candle, red candle at the end of this down move. I think Rivian's cooked. It's all over. As soon as you see that 10-minute or two-hour uptrend, I think Rivian's ready to head back in the other direction right there. So there's Rivian having a pullback right into the trend area. All right. So there's Rivian. I got Amazon's looking good. Intel's looking good. FNGU, so-so. Uh, everything else looking pretty good. All right, traders, everybody have a beautiful afternoon, a beautiful weekend. Thank you for spending the day with me. I hope you consider taking a trial. Again, you know, you got me. I'll coach you. I'll get you on the right track. I think you're going to make some money. I think you'll find a, this would be a great home for you. I don't do a lot of talking. A lot of it's unnecessary. Uh, most of it, you ask me questions, I'll give you straight up answers. All right? Thanks, B12. Everybody have a beautiful weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're going to join in December. All right. I'll, thank you, Sue. Thank you. I look for it. Thank you. I love it. That's, that's, that's awesome. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, everybody that visited with me. Sort out the garden. All right. All right, I look forward to uh, working and trading with you, Sue. Thanks, Trader Chick. Appreciate seeing you again. Thank you, thank you. All right, have a good weekend, everybody. See you then.